So pack two provides additional assets. Uh, and they include uh, some sunken doorways and windows. They include a, a second uh, style for an upper floor, which is sort of more of a, a stone elaborate style. And they include an entire set of bay window styles for the existing window styles as well as this new style here. They all even include a rooftop asset and some interesting caps so that the bay style can be added to your existing building. And as always, there's the library of assets, as well as a couple more prefabs. In this case, I've got an upper floor for the large and the small with two types of uh, ornate windows that go along with this. What we're going to do with this model here is modify it and save a second asset. The first thing we wanna do, of course, is to switch around these two objects. So we just take note of the display positions. This one is at 300 in the X, and this one's at zero in the X. And so all we've gotta do is switch those positions around. So I'm just gonna go like that, and that's now modified. The next thing we need to do is move this rooftop up another 400 units, so that's 800. And clicking on root node, we want to add in from our pack two pre uh, prefabs. Uh, let's go with the upper floor, small 04. This has got some rounded windows and uh, we're going to call this pent house. And we'll close this down and we'll bring this up 800 so that it now sits up the top. I've got some different window styles on each of the four uh, walls. And so what I'm going to do is I might rotate this 90 degrees in the Y so that we only have two at the top and four along the side here. Now for the bays. So first off, we need to delete some of this information. We need to delete that. We need to delete this piece here. And when you delete something that's got something parented, the object also deletes with it. Delete this wall and delete this roof cap right here. And so if we just uh, orbit around, you can see that now we've got this gap and we need to place those uh, additional objects in the corresponding folders. So we can just go to root node and add them as is and then just sort of dump what we need to do into those corresponding folders. So we'll just go uh, add new, we'll go out to the pack and we'll start with the roof cap bay. We'll open that up, that comes in and we can already see that it's sitting there at the zero. Uh, so let's move this out of its root node and we'll delete root node. The roof cap bay, we need to go up 800, I think we might need to go up a little further, possibly 1200, yes, yes, that's right. Uh, and then move that in the X direction 650, if I remember correctly, and now that's perfectly positioned. And we can drag and drop that into the rooftop. Ah, right, okay, so because the rooftop has already been moved 800, we need to do something with the bay, and that is, let's select that, Okay, so we have to make sure that that is in the right position because as soon as you drop it into another folder, it's going to add the default position to the display position. Let's do the same with the other sections. Let's go add from file. We need the ornate uh, one bay. Okay, and remember that the pane comes in with that one. So we don't want to move the pane. We just want to move the bay. So we go 650. That's all we really need to do. And we can dump that into the ground floor and that should work just fine. We can delete that root node there. Uh, we'll also bring in the edge ground bay and we'll move that 650 forward. And we'll move that into the pavement folder. Again, deleting that root node. And we'll do that with the remaining at one. So we've got a, an ornate bay two, which we will need to bring that forward, 650 and up 400. Move that into the first floor. Now, unfortunately, we can only import these 
one at a time. Uh, there's, there's no real way of moving these. Let's go to second floor here. Works there. And finally, let's go with the uh, upper square bay. 650, uh, 1200. And we want to bring this into the penthouse. Ah, hello. Strange rotation. Ah, yes, because the, the Y. Okay, zero that out. 650, that's correct. Because remember, we rotated that, and so we've got to make sure that the the uh, the rotation and the position uh, corresponds. And so now we have got ourselves a very different looking apartment. What we want to do is to make sure that we've got this set to the default angle. We can click on this thumbnail. We can also need to make this the default layout. So we've got to go save object layout again. And again, we add a thumbnail. And finally on the sketch, oh, it looks like the thumbnail has already updated from one of these previous ones. Now the default material, a few extra ones came in. So we've just got to make sure that that uh, gets compressed down. And now this hasn't actually changed this apartment style. Any modifications you make can then be saved as another registered material. And so what we do is we go file, register as new material, and now we can go small four floor bay, and we can make that on the apartment and we add a few tags and and then we okay that, and now we've got another apartment. So why don't we jump over to paint where we had our previous apartment, and now we've got this new apartment, we can simply drag and drop this on the same layer. And if you've got that plus sign, it should drag and drop uh, in position where we drag and drop it in the same orientation. Now we'll have to tweak some of this position. We can hit zero on the Y, we can go 2500 on the X and zero on the Z. And you can see that you can now move these apartments around quite easily. And already we're starting to build this nice little streetscape using these different assets. Mm -hmm.